Sometimes your startup starts up twice, or even more than twice. Lots of people who decide to start up a business are filled with a lot of passion, a lot of vision, a lot of energy and commitment. Um, and they do a lot of planning, more or less. Some do a business plan, some dive straight in. And at that front end, sometimes in those first few days, weeks and months, that vast amount of energy goes into launching the business. And it can be quite chaotic, it can be quite reactive. You get a real sense of, of adrenaline and busyness and, and spending money, of course, and spending time. And then there can come a point where actually you get disappointed because it hasn't all happened the way you thought it would or as quickly as you thought it would and you can just burn out as well and then it feels like the curve has kind of gone up uh, and then it's gone down again I'll do that bit better with my finger it it's uh, it's a quick rise and then it plateaus and can even fall your energy drops the results aren't as good as you thought they would be all the initial likes you get from your friends on facebook um, all the all the thumbs ups, all the positive energy you get starts to hit reality, which is that change doesn't always happen quickly. You have to work hard at it. You have to refine things. You have to take time to step back and see what's working, what isn't working. Plans always tend to not work out because the world changes around you. And a lot of people get downhearted and despondent and even go into a place of paralysis where they simply stop moving or the pace of change goes down to zero. And that actually is a really good place to be because it's the second place and the place to really start up, to harvest the lessons, to see what's worked and to really now go into a realistic place, still full of idealism as well, still full of passion, but actually realising that that initial oomph, that initial explosion of energy now needs to settle. And so the second startup is a really good place to get into a peer group, to meet some other people, to get some ideas, to share your story, and then to refine the plan. And that may even happen a third time too. But a lot of the most successful stories of businesses are not ones that just exploded into success and met all people's wildest dreams and expectations in that first month or two. But actually, it was a longer game. That doesn't have to be years. That can just be a few months later. But what you really have to imagine is the possibility that starting up isn't a one-off process, but a continuous process. And even if it works the second time round and you start to get some really good results, the danger is then that it will plateau again because things settle. You get into habits, you get into your own ways of doing things and the world changes around you and you behave as if the world hasn't changed and you might need to start up again. And actually, if you grow used to change, if you grow used to the idea that starting up and starting up and starting up refreshes you, then that can be one of the best places to be. It's not one journey. It's not one voyage. The first journey can be exciting and dangerous and get you somewhere, but then it may be time to voyage again.